Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you this IP Camera uh, Viewer Pro app by Robert Chow. And it's really cool. It lets you monitor your uh, security IP cameras from your tablet or smartphone. And what I'm going to show you here on today is the Motorola Zoom tablet. It's a 10 inch tablet. <clears throat> right now I'm in the Google Play Store. As you can see, I found it right here by just typing in IP camera. And here it is, IP Cam Viewer Pro. If you uh, tap on that, you can see uh, how he explains this app and all the features that it has here. And I've already got this installed. I think it was like $399, $299. He's also got a basic version that works for only one camera. So you can try it out first to make sure it works with your camera. Uh, I've got IP cameras, different makes and models around my house installed. <clears throat> so I've, I haven't had any problems with this uh, app at all with any of my IP cameras. So we're going to go ahead and open it right from here since I already have it. And it'll take a while and the cameras will load in one by one as it scans my wireless network. This is a really, really cool app. Um, right here is the basic grid view and if you want to see uh, one of your cameras enlarged just double tap on it here you can have your PTZ settings this is where you can pan and tilt it or you can zoom in if you'd like zoom out and go back oh it went back too far Let's get this open again. Okay, go back to grid view. Works really smooth. I like it. I, I mean, this is what made me want to get more cameras and more cameras and more cameras. I mean, just because I can take notice of anything that's happening, not only from my tablet while I'm at home or away, but from my smartphone. Any Android device uh, this app will work on. And what we're going to do now is, uh, I wanted to show you also, let's go back into one of these. And if you hit this down arrow here, it'll open up all your options. Uh, trying to get to where I wanted to show you something. Right here. On the bottom of your camera, it's got all your mini views of the cameras that you have and if you scroll through here you can just grab this and scroll through all of them I think that's pretty cool so anyway let's get back to what we were going to do as you see here this button here takes you to the list or menu so if you press this button go to manage cameras and here it shows all the cameras that you already have installed if you have some already and what we're going to do is hit this plus sign this is to add a camera this button here and your camera type this is an IP camera that I'm gonna add and then you type in your camera's name we're gonna name this uh, test camera and it is an easy cam that I've purchased from easysecuritycam.com that's where you can get great deals on IP cameras and internetcamerahelpvault.com is a great place to find out more about apps like these and uh, directions on setup and configuration of all cameras. Uh, right now, uh, I've already pre-entered this. This is where you enter your IP address of the camera, your IP security camera, and then you enter your port number that you've assigned it. Now. To assign a camera a port number, you'll have to go to port forwarding instructions, and you can find that at internetcamerahelpvault.com. They've got great instructions there. Uh, and then here's the username and password. So mainly, I mean, the name is just for you. This is the make of your camera. This is the model of that make camera you have. 
and then you enter your IP address or domain name if you have a DNS set up for your camera for your network you can enter that and then your port number this is what's important your IP address of the camera port number username for the camera and password for the camera and then we're going to test this out press your test button successfully retrieve image and it shows you a sample of the image of the camera so we're good we're going to save that we're going to hit the back button go back to main grid view here's our test camera that we've just set up cameras are loading and we've got it test camera works now you see you notice how this the uh, I'm hitting down button it's going up and I'm hitting uh, left and it's going right and right and then it goes left well all you have to do is go back to your menu manage cameras go to the camera we are talking about the test camera hit your edit button this time and down here you'll see a more options button click that and we want to invert the pan and tilt left and right and invert direction up and down and then go back and remember to hit your save button after any changes in that menu and we'll go back to our grid view cameras will load back up again it's really really cool you can control you know it seems like you're control controlling your whole house or or your business if you have a small business this is ideal double click on the camera we'll get our controls up we're gonna try up now it's going up that's good left and now it's going left that's what make this app really really unique and user friendly is because it will work on all cameras and if there is some kind of a modification you you need to do like this like inverting the directions that options there for you so I hope you like it you can find more apps and video help like this at internet camera help vault dot com and you can buy these affordable cameras at easysecuritycam.com. Hope to see you there. Talk to you soon. Bye.